If you or someone you know vapes, you may want to listen to this. The Georgia Department of Public Health issued a health alert about vaping. This comes after some states have reported cases of severe pulmonary disease possibly connected to vaping. Ashlyn Webb explains. I just purchased um, 30 milliliters of uh, vape liquid. Killian Peach made a stop at a Macon smoke shop on his way from Atlanta to Orlando. He says he began vaping almost four years ago when trying to wean himself off cigarettes. Like beforehand, I would wake up like with a tight chest when I would smoke cigarettes and like with the vape, like I feel like I can breathe. Peach says he knows it's not going to be 100% better than cigarettes, but like it's a lot cleaner. You can actually see what you're you're taking into your body. But clinicians in the State Department of Public Health are warning other Wise. We have all this data that shows how dangerous cigarettes are. A lot of the same chemicals are in vaping, but we're still gathering information. So we believe that they're just as dangerous. Catherine Duncan, a pediatrician at Navison Children's Health Center, says she's treated several patients who have vaped. Anytime you're delivering those types of chemicals to your lungs, it's those are carcinogen chemicals, so things that could cause cancer later on. Duncan says a single vaping pod can have as much nicotine as a pack of cigarettes. This week, the State Department of Public Health announced it's investigating possible cases reported in Georgia after reports of some vapors being diagnosed with severe pulmonary disease. The DPH says there's not any one vaping product that's been found that would conclusively link it to the disease. Reported patients list different vape brand methods, cartridges, and pods. For now, Duncan's message is... The safest thing is not to vape. Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. For more information on electronic cigarettes and vaping devices, visit cdc.gov.